हेलो लर्नर वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ सिस्को पैकेट ट्रेसर अ नेटवर्क सिमुलेटर टूल इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द डाउनलोडिंग एंड इंस्टॉलेशन प्रोसेस ऑफ सिस्को पैकेट ट्रेसर एंड वी आर आल्सो गोइंग टू बिल्ड अ पीयर टू पीयर नेटवर्क विद दिस सिमुलेशन सिमुलेटर टूल सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द लेक्चर इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इंट्रोडक्शन फॉर सिस्को पैकेट ट्रेसर डाउनलोडिंग एंड इंस्टॉलेशन प्रोसेस एंड क्रिएटिंग अ सिंपल पीयर टू पीयर नेटवर्क so you are going to get a simple hands on training for this tool in this session so introduction is in, uh, uh, as introduction it's a network simulator tool built by cisco and it can be used for network certification training means if you are going for a network certification training you cannot build the networks uh, in a lab or in, um, or physically build the network so this is the best tool to practice such network uh, network building and how the devices can be attached can be connected and how they communicate all these these can be done with the help of this powerful tool so it helps to establish networks and practice also practice to troubleshooting them and we are in no need to purchase actual cisco routers or switches we can simply practice or we simply build the complex uh, networks through this packet tracer tool and we can experience how the network is going to work and once we are fully assured that yes it's a, it's it's going to be okay then we can convert the network to the physical setup downloading and installation process for this tool is not same as other software so you need to log in to netcad account if you are new to this account you have to use a sign up option the website for the same is netacad.com that is networkingacademy.com and from there you have to opt for some basic cisco packet tracer tools I had opted for this getting started with Cisco Packet Tracer tool to get the basic knowledge for this tool and from there you have to, after giving the exam of 5 questions simple 5 question where you have to score minimum 80% marks and a simple feedback server survey then you can get the link to download the latest version of the Cisco Packet Tracer so for this course let's complete the theory section first so for this course you are going to get five questions for the final test and the questions for my test was what is the ip address for the laptop the answer was this and default gateway for the pc answer is this and subnet mask to identify the network the answer is d option and for pc laptop we have to open this link and then a small page what message would be displayed this is the message that is going to be displayed hello world and last question was which device connect to wire wireless router wirelessly no doubt it's the laptop so after completing the course you can easily download the link but if you uh, if you want to skip the course then you have to be with this lecture so that you can get the the steps to download otherwise after skipping even if you clear the exam you won't be able to install download or install the tool so here is a practical session for the same so you can go with any browser here i am using microsoft edge and there you have to open netcat.com from this you have to select this packet tracer they have a number of software tools available with them so this is the packet simulator so from this you will get the knowledge and knowledge of basics for this and for this who can use a packet tracer how to use it and in next section we have download for free but for this you need to simply enroll in one of our introductory courses below to download the latest version of the packet tracer so i have enrolled for this course so i am going to simply view this course i have already completed this course but just to demonstrate so get started for getting start 
we have to log in as i have already logged in so i have completed the sign up process if you are new user you have to choose the sign up option but i am not new new user so i am simply signing in and after login resume course because i have uh, i am not the new user so i am getting the option of resume the course you will get the option of getting starting with the course so from this here we have two modules introduction to cisco packet tracer creating a cisco packet tracer network how you can create a network and after uh, these two module we have the course completion assessment means a simple test of five question that we just covered and a survey so for the first links introduction to cisco packet tracer we are having some theory section notes and the link means the resources provided by them so here we have this basic introduction video then simple uh, notes resources available for you simply scroll down for the link now this is the link that we need to open to download the cisco packet tracer tool so please follow the instruction from the link below as i click on the link i will be redirected to a new page this is the resource hub where we are getting link to download the tool based on latest tool that is 8.1.1 based on your operating system i had downloaded this one so you can download any of the tool but after downloading and installing and running the tool you need to keep yourself logged in for entire process means you cannot use the tool without login to the tool okay so for example i have already installed the tool and i am logging out just to demonstrate what we will get if you we are not logged in to the tool so after successful installation you are going to get this icon at your desktop so just click on the icon don't worry it will take some time so here here is the tool but before opening the tool it is required to log in so we have two option to sign in for uh, for this tool one is cisco networking academy and another is cisco skills for all what we have done we ha have completed the course of cisco skills for all okay so we have to click this option but to avoid this option or this login Uh, all the time you are going to use this tool you can click on this option that keep me logged in for 3 months after selecting this option you won't be required to log in again and again for every trial with this tool so i am going to log in simply log in so you have successfully logged in to this tool you may close the tab yes and this is the interface of the tool here you can see the tools available here means all the networking devices that you require to build a network to construct a uh, network will be available with this tool here you can also type and search for the tool suppose you need a hub you can simply type hub and you can get the same tool displayed here so these are the option available for cables coaxial cable fiber optical cables and crossover cable straight through cables these are the end devices like pc laptop etc and these are the switches if you need switches you can simply write switch and all the switches are here for option 
ओके सो यू कैन सिंपली ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप द टूल दैट यू नीड एज वी नीड टू बिल्ड अ सिंपल पीयर टू पीयर नेटवर्क सो आई एम गोइंग टू यूज एंड डिवाइस और एंड आई एम पिकिंग द पी सी सो हेयर इज फर्स्ट डिवाइस एंड हेयर इज माई अनदर डिवाइस सो फर्स्टली यू नीड टू कन्फिगर दीज सिस्टम्स सो दीज आर फुल फ्लेज सिस्टम लाइक एनी अदर सिस्टम सो यू हैव ऑल द ऑप्शन ऑफ डेस्क टॉप कन्फिगरिंग ऑल द लेयर्स ऑल द हार्डवेयर इज देयर सो यू कैन ट्रीट दैम लाइक अ हार्डवेयर डिवाइस एक्चुअली दैट्स वाई यू कैन बिल्ड द कम्प्लीट नेटवर्क सो हेयर वी गो टू डेस्क टॉप ऑप्शन देन आई पी कन्फिग्रेशन हेयर वी हैव द ऑप्शन ऑफ आई पी वी फॉर एड्रेसिंग सपोज आई एम गिविंग वन थ्री डॉट वन टू डॉट वन वन डॉट जीरो this is the my this is my ip address of pc0 and for next i am giving ip address as 13.12.11.1 so this is the ip address of my second pc pc0 pc1 now if you need to connect the same devices to connect the same devices you have to select the cross over cable from this copper cross over cable and if you need to select the different devices distinct devices then you need to choose a copper straight through cable this is the copper straight through cable and this is cross over so as we are connecting similar devices so i am selecting the cross over cable and one thing to notice here if you select any of the wrong option while making the connection then your data communication won't be won't work means you will not be able to pass the data or receive the data through that connection so here we need to select fast ethernet 0 and at other pc also you have to select fast ethernet 0 and if you see physical this is connected to the this port okay fast ethernet connection as we have selected ethernet cable so both systems are connected through ethernet now these green dots are representing that the data communication is on now how can we check as in hardware labs or hardware setups we used to run the ping command so same is the case here so we have the command prompt here from desktop we can select the command prompt and we can ping from the pc0 to pc1 to check whether they are approachable they are when the pc1 is reachable from pc0 or not so we are going to run the ping command see we are successfully getting the reply from another pc that we we have just connected so the pc0 is connected with pc1 as we have successfully sent the four packets and received the acknowledgement for the same as you can see sent four received four and lost zero if if the if there is some error in connection or anything you have done is not right then here you will get the time out error or any other notification if the connections are not right or you will get the red mark over here if you are not making the connections right so be careful with these things and in next lecture we will see more about this packet tracer till then bye and take care